Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. The sun shines out, so that's always fun. Uh, any kiddos that want to come up and as you for a children's message? Um, I'm Betsy Trevina. I am lead of the children's ministry here at St. Andrews, and I'm so lucky to do that. I'm going to show you that in just one moment. Let's have a seat. I bet you do. But nobody else knows what's in here yet. We're going to find out. Have a seat. All right, sit down. How are you all today? Good. I'm so happy to see you all. Um, I have a question for you. Do you guys know what imitate means? It's kind of a big word. Older kids, do you know what imitate means? I'll give you a clue. If I imitate a cat, I go meow. If I imitate a dog, I go woof. What might that mean? To copy, yep, to act like or copy something or to be like something. So like this chocolate here, I've got Dove and I've got Hershey's. One of these companies started it, right? And the other one was like, hey, that's a good idea. So one isn't exactly like the other one. Trust me, I have a strong opinion on this. <laughs> but they're like each other. Right? So they imitate each other. Why are we talking about imitating? Well, today's Bible reading talks about us imitating or being like Jesus. What do you think that might look like? If we were to imitate or to copy Jesus, what kinds of things do you think Jesus, what kinds of things did Jesus do? What kinds of things did Jesus do? Was he grumpy all the time? Did you be grump? Was Jesus grumpy? Not that we know of. Maybe he had bad days. Um, was he kind? Yeah. Um, so like he healed people. That's something that he did. He walked on water. A couple weeks ago, we talked about him feeding a whole bunch of people with just a couple loaves of bread and some fish. Can we do all those things? I mean, in the winter, I guess we can walk on water. <laughs> but I don't know about you, but I can't. If Ruby has a broken arm, I can't go. You're healed. I can't do that. But I can be nice and kind, right? Show kindness to others. And you know what? Every day we have feelings. What kinds of feelings do we have every day? You are being kind by sharing chocolate with others. Every day we have different feelings. We have joy, we have happiness, we have anger and frustration. And the other part of today's reading is it's going to tell us that we don't have to hold on to all those feelings. Because does it feel good to be angry or grumpy? Do you like feeling that way? I don't. I usually look like this when I'm angry. <laughs> I'm kind of slouchy. Yeah. When I get home? Okay. Thank you. Um, and how does it feel to be, how does it feel to have joy or be happy? Um, I think you need to wait until you sit with dad. Okay. Have a seat. I want to have two. Yeah, you can hand out one to everybody else too. When we are happy... We feel good, right? Yeah, one of those ones. When we're happy, we feel pretty good, right? I get energized, like if I am nice to somebody or share, share sweets with somebody, I get energized and I get happy. And so we can, we're supposed to live with forgiveness and kindness and use our words to help build others up, like saying, Eve, I really like your shoes today. Those are really cool shoes. I bet you run fast in those shoes. Do you? I bet you can. That brings joy to others. And that's what we're meant to do as followers of Jesus. We are to be like Jesus and show forgiveness and kindness to others and use our words for good things. Now, in the reading, you're going to hear it in just a minute. There's a phrase I want you to fill in the blank. It says, 
we are to live in blank. Okay? I want you to listen really good and see if you hear that last word of the sentence, okay? Because it's important. So we're going to pray now, okay? Everybody, hands in. All right. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to us to show us how to live with kindness, gentleness, and love. Help us to live in love every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if Kevin didn't share chocolate with you, you can come and get some.